Welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Priya Shetty and I'm here to take you through my favourite videos this week. First up, Hollywood actors stand aside. Atoms have been given a starring role in some new movies. Sandrine Kersman takes us through them. This sequence of photos was used a hundred years ago to prove that horses lift all four feet off the ground while galloping. By developing a camera with a super fast shutter speed, each tiny movement could be captured over time. Now researchers have created an electron microscope that uses the same principle to snap photos of the detailed motion of atoms. It emits pulses of light that are much more energetic than previous models, capturing the first pictures of atoms as they change over fractions of a second. Here you can see nanocrystals of gold shimmering. The microscope can also zoom out to reveal motion on a slightly longer timescale, as shown here with this sheet of graphite. This new tool should be useful to visualize features of matter that were otherwise too tiny to see. Next, researchers are investigating how a strangely shaped fish propels itself through the water. Meet the electric black ghost knife fish, a unique fish that uses a ribbon fin to gracefully swim backwards or forwards. Researchers have been trying to better understand how it controls its movement by creating visualizations of water flowing over the fin. They found that it generates two forces, one in its direction of motion and one at a right angle to it. The pattern of waves travelling down the fin, combined with the peculiar shape of the knife fish, creates a strong sideways force that's perfect for fast manoeuvres. The researchers hope this insight will help develop new propulsion systems for underwater vehicles. Finally, we take a look at how to mix and unmix liquids at the flick of a switch. Sandrine tells us more. Oil and water don't usually mix, but a new chemical sensitive to light has been added here to blend them together. Just as easily as it brought them together, it can also separate them out again. When exposed to UV light, the chemical changes its structure and becomes soluble in water. This causes two layers to form, with the oil floating on top of the water chemical combo. This method should be cheaper than the current alternative, which involves using high-energy centrifuges. That's all for now, but if you're still in the mood for more science and technology, you'll find lots more on our website. For example, watch a video about a new X-Prize competition calling for crazy green ideas, or take a look at a gallery of ape art. Bye for now, see you next time.